My name is Katja Hogard, and today I'm going to tell you about my research on the molecular arms race between plants and aphids. My research aims to create pest-proof crops for sustainable agriculture of the future. Insect pests such as aphids are a major threat to agriculture worldwide, but our current control methods rely heavily on pesticide use. My research will help build on the knowledge of the genetic basis of plants' resistance to aphids to help produce pest-proof crops. My model system is the plant Metacago truncatula, and the pest I'm studying is the pea aphid. In certain populations of Metacago, there's a strong natural resistance to pea aphids, but in other varieties of Metacago, there's no resistance. We found that the main genetic difference between the resistant and susceptible metacago plants lies in a section of the genome that includes two genes called RAP1A and RAP1B. RAP1A and RAP1B are thought to be important because they're plant resistance genes. These are genes that function like molecular switches that control specific resistance to pests and pathogens. The plant knows it's being attacked because effectors, which are biological molecules from the aphid, turn on this defense system. My first research question is, do the RAP1 genes actually determine aphid resistance? I've assessed whether RAP1A and RAP1B are important in the defense response by looking at how these genes are expressed when the plants are attacked by aphids. With RAP1B, its expression is strong and detectable with or without aphids. However, RAP1A is barely expressed at all. So my conclusion is that RAP1B is probably more important in the defense response. I'm now creating transgenic plants from the susceptible genetic line of Metacago using RAP1A and RAP1B. My next big experiment is to test whether aphids can survive on these transformed plants. My secondary research question is, what is the RAP1 biological defense mechanism? At the start of my project, I thought that salicylic acid, a plant defense hormone, may be important in the defense response. I found that it accumulates in both susceptible and resistant plants, so it may be necessary but is not sufficient on its own for the RAP1 response. I'm now branching out my studies into the genes and metabolic pathways involved in the defense response to find out what factors are working together to kill off the aphids. Thank you, Thank you very much for listening to my presentation, and I'm looking forward to telling you the next chapter in the story of the arms race between plants and aphids.